Okay, well, let's dive in and install WordPress on your Bluehost hosting account. First, you'll need to log in to your account at bluehost.com, type in your primary domain, password, and click Submit. This is the Bluehost control panel. It has a lot of great tools, but for right now, we just need to find WordPress. So go down to the website section and click on WordPress. This will redirect you to the Mojo Marketplace, where you can find a bunch of great professional themes and plugins for WordPress. For now, all we need to do is click the big green Install button. Now, we have a choice in this drop-down window of which domain we want to install WordPress to. Go ahead and pick the domain and click Check Domain. WordPress then checks the domain to make sure nothing else is installed on it. If there is a previous install, it will ask if you want to override it. Once it's finished checking the domain, we get these options. Click on Advanced Options so we can set up our site title, in my case, the name of my restaurant, and change admin, username, and password. I would strongly encourage doing this. WordPress as a default makes your email address the username and then generates a very secure yet difficult to remember password. It is really unwise to use the default username WordPress creates for you. It makes your site more susceptible to hacks. So I'll enter the new username I just came up with right here. Now for a password, pick something you can remember or write it down if necessary, but make sure it is strong and secure by using a capital letter, a number, and a, a symbol like a dollar sign or an exclamation point. Sorry, this is all very exciting to me. <laughs> Once you're happy with your new credentials, make sure to agree to the terms and conditions. Next, click Install, and Mojo will go to work installing WordPress on your account. A window may appear suggesting possible themes. Just click out of that, and it's done. You're now ready to hit the ground running.